The fifth anniversary of the Belt and Road Film Festival lies was celebrated in Shanghai, with representatives from member institutions, international industry guests, and filmmakers discussing film exchanges and cooperation within the Belt and Road Initiative. The Belt and Road Film Week showcased costumes, culture, and arts from countries along the Belt and Road to citizens and film enthusiasts. It's been great to be able to see such rare and art house film through the Belt and Road Film Week of the Shanghai International Film Festival. Um, as everyone knows, mainstream media channel tends to only distribute blockbuster films. So, gr- film festival like these are great opportunities for them. This was the original aim of the Belt and Road Film Week, which marked its fifth anniversary recently with substantial achievements. Over the past years, the level of cooperation between film festivals of various countries has significantly improved, and the scope of cooperation for film exchanges has been expanding steadily. Since the establishment in 2018, the alliance has created structures to exchange information and provide mutual recommendations for films and filmmakers. In the past five years, the alliance has expanded significantly, from its original 29 member institutions spanning 31 countries to currently having 55 member institutions from 48 different countries. To have that in the first five years is immense success. And like I cannot imagine what's gonna be in like five years, ten years, or after that, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. I'm, I'm, I'm. I have to say, a bit afraid how big it will be. So, yeah, I can't wait to see what's what's gonna happen with the initiative. I had one of my films, my last film, screened through the Belt and Road Alliance in 2021, and I think that was a great experience for me, even if I was not here physically. But that was a very good example of what the alliance can do. Right in the middle of the time of the COVID, when films could travel hardly, my film was screened in China, not only in Shanghai but in many other cities due to the alliance. And I think、uh, being able to help and support filmmakers to have a more international exposure and interact with other cultures, I think this is one of the basic and most important、uh, aspects of the alliance for me. For directors like Amir, the Shanghai International Film Festival was not only an opportunity to make numerous acquaintances, but also helped confirm the participation of 30% of next year's current International Film Festival jury members. According to Alliance members, the Belt and Road Movie Week uses dynamic images to promote cross-cultural and transnational exchanges, which differs from using static images to demonstrate the changes and growth of Chinese society to foreign filmmakers. Olivia He, CGTN, Shanghai.